guys I am back with another video and today is going to be all about the favorites so if you're interested then just keep watching all right so today I got a little bit of skincare makeup some a fragrance a pair of shoes some undergarments uh, so I have a little bit of a hodgepodge of things so with all that being said let's go ahead and get into the first one all right so first up I have a bronzer and a bit of a highlight and this is by beauty blender this is their bounce magic fit creamy bronzer comes in a little container like this and it's actually double-sided and if you all have been with me for a moment you all know that I like beauty blender uh, makeup products I've used their concealer I have their little powder that's kind of like a finishing powder uh, their foundation their tint and now this so first off it comes with a little mirror when you open it up like this and one side this side is actually cream and I have it on now I'm not sure if you can see it but it's just it just gives you a little bit of something not not a whole lot and on the other side you unscrew it and then you have the cream right here and when I was in Sephora I actually saw looks like they only have three shades and if I'm not mistaken I got the deepest shade and I really do like it I think the cream is blendable and I really do like how well the cream actually plays well uh, with other foundations and powders when I put the highlighting part right there I typically use my finger and I'll you know kind of get it on my finger and then I'll just dab it right there and on my forehead and other little places and I'm good to go and I never said it and it always you know it doesn't run it doesn't skip doesn't do a lot of strange things as far as the the cream bronzer I do like it as well I wish that they had like another shade right below this one but either way you know I can definitely make it work and I love it and you might be side-eyeing me like okay I think you're biased because you like their products maybe I don't know maybe but anyway next time when you're a support definitely go by and swatch this baby out and if you have it let me know what you think about it all right so next up I have a fragrance and this is by Burberry this is the new goddess scent and let me tell you if you are a vanilla scent lover or smell or if you like to layer with lots of vanilla scents and things like that you'll absolutely love this I have the Burberry black and the Burberry blush all of them are really um, really very beautiful fragrances so this scent just kind of reminds you of a warm uh, florals more of a gourmand you know anytime you have scents like vanilla uh, things like that that's more of a gourmand scent so if those are the ones that you like this would definitely be one to try also um, as far as the the fragrance you know when you spray it some fragrances are very strong very projecting very loud this one is not it's very soft and sweet uh, uh, and subtle you know it's not anything that's going to hit you in the face even if you spray a lot on your clothes if you go back hours later you will smell it but it's not anything that's going to be overpowering so if you're one that just kind of likes those mellow type of scents this one would definitely be one this one to me would be something that uh, that you will wear on uh, a date you know uh, an evening date and I don't know why it is it seems like I always gravitate to those type of scents you know where they're going to you know kind of have more of a romantic type of feel but this one is so divine next time you're in uh, I guess let's see I got this from Macy's I'm not sure if they sell it in Sephora they probably do but anyway take a sniff or uh, get a sample and let me know what you think about it especially if you are a vanilla lover all right so next up I have a serum and this is by origins this is their plant scriptions serum and this serum really claims to smooth out wrinkles under on your forehead smile lines under your eyes crow's feet and it claims to do it in two weeks I really can't speak to that however what I can speak to is that immediately after application it does 
uh, a really good job of plumping up the skin. So I feel like I need to use it longer to see if, you know, any lines that I have on my forehead and all that other stuff, which I have really covered up with makeup, you know, it's the power of makeup you know, that can really do wonders, but I can't speak to that yet, but it does um, uh, plumping up the skin. Have you ever seen, have you ever had a product where, you know, before you put on your, your uh, skincare, it, uh, your face may look a little dry and dull and whatever issues that you have, such as uh, uh, crow's feet or small lines or all that other stuff, once you put on a very plumping or hydrating serum, it, it evens it out or it, it just kind of makes it look less noticeable. This definitely does that. Now, I do have to say that I have been pairing this with a little bit of an oil. There's an oil that I like to use, and sometimes I do that just to kind of make a product, uh, just to kind of pair with a serum, or if I have a moisturizer that just really isn't thick, I will sometimes just pair with just a little bit of oil, just a little bit, not, not doing the most, uh, just uh, in an effort to get the most hydration and moisture. But this one is definitely good. I don't think that they sell this at Sephora. They do have it at uh, Ulta and let's see Macy's and some other places. And you know if you look online they do have lots of photos where you know how they have the before and after. The, the, um, the difference is it's nothing dramatic. It's just something that's going to give you a subtle change. But this one's really good and I've really been enjoying this. Alright so next I have a concealer and this is by Laura Mercier and I love any type of concealers that are going to be very hydrating under the high eye and of course have some type of skincare ingredients attached to it. This is a good one, not if you're going for one of those full on glam looks, but if you want something quick to put on and get out of the door that that's you know good for your skin, this is a really good one and it's going to give you a natural look. You don't need, you know, you can put on just a little bit and you know just kind of set it with a mattifying spray if you don't want to use a powder under your eye to set it that would definitely work it also plays well with other makeup you know meaning when you mix it with powders or any other type of creams and you layer it doesn't lift or it doesn't move around or it doesn't ball up that can be very irritating as you know if you have a product and you put it on and you go to put on the rest of your face and you still have to blend or do whatever and it's moving around this one definitely doesn't do it but again if you're looking for something just for a natural everyday look or just a really soft natural beat this is the way to go and I absolutely love it and you know I'm just kind of late to the party trying this concealer out because I think it's been out for a year or two I, I'm not sure but I know it's been out for a while all right so next up I have a face palette and this is by makeup forever this is the HD skin sculpting palette so this is the older one this isn't the newer one you know as you all know there's a new one that's out that has the foundation and the blush in it this one you can pretty much use these shades for highlighting and sculpting and of course my favorite thing to use out of here are the highlighting shades and I like them because you can add it add a little bit of it on top of another product it plays very well it really looks good if you just want to add something nice and natural you're trying to get out of the door really quick I'm gonna to try to do a video with the new palette as well as this one just kind of seeing what type of look you can get with just those two palettes because it's really important especially if you're one that's out there and you work a nine to five and you just kind of want to you know do a light beat or a little put together as far as your makeup but these highlighting shades are phenomenal even the contouring shades I feel as though this darker shade is it, it, just enough to do any type of sculpting for me I feel as though maybe they could have added a deeper shade but you know this neither here nor there as far as the highlighting shades I haven't really used much of them but mainly on this row and I can tell you that you can get away with not using a powder you can definitely use a, a mattifying setting spray if you feel like you just need to use something and don't want to use a power to set but this is definitely worth the money because let's 
everybody doesn't want um, multiple products. Some people want, you know, one or two products that they can get all the everyday look with. And this is definitely one of them. And I would say to check it out. They've got them so many places. Sometimes I see these on sale, sometimes I don't. Sephora, I think Sephora did have it on sale a while back. You know, another dupe for this one, or it's kind of a dupe, and I say it's kind of a dupe because it's missing the highlighting part, but the e.l.f. palette. Let me see if I have it. So this one is a bit of a dupe if you're looking for a good palette to use. And this thing has been, this e.l.f. one has been around for like so long. I'm sure you all have seen it and a lot of you all probably already have it in your collection. But if you don't and you are kind of eyeballing this, you could definitely get that and you know just kind of be able to achieve the same type of look all right so now i have some undies and these are by skinny girl and i've talked about skinny girl before but these are like boy shorts uh but they're underwear now I know that these type of things come a dime a dozen, but let me tell you what's so good about it. <laughs> what's so good about it is that it's laser cut. The bottom part is laser cut, and you can actually wear these with thin fabric clothes, and they don't show your panty line. I'm sure that I, I don't like it when I wear underwear and I'm wearing some clothes and the underwear, it digs into you know my body so much so that it's showing a, a panty line these do not do that they're also um, I don't know what type of fabric I know the ingredients or, or the ingredients I know um, it's made of spandex and cotton or something else I'll put it somewhere on the screen that whatever type of mixture or blend they use it's very it, it's very slippery so you're not gonna have your clothes stick to you and it's also thick so it's going to give you some control but it's not so much like a girl it's nothing like that but I think what I like most about it well there's no thing this is what I like most about it is the laser cut and where it hits right there above the thigh it's not digging and showing a panty line but I have these two colors which is pretty much standard you know you got to have a light color and a, a dark shade for you know whatever type of color clothes you're wearing but if you're in the market for these try looking for a um, if you're like me and you're concerned about those lines or those underwear lines where they kind of dig into your skin try to find something that's uh, a thicker fabric that has some slip and that has the laser cut at the bottom and that simply means and that's just where you it, you don't have a hem they just cut it and they, they just kind of leave it like that that's when anytime you see something like that that's what a laser cut is but these are divine and I love them all right so next up I have some shoes and I'm just gonna hold them up like this <laughs> these are Pumas okay and I've talked about I'm sure I've talked about Pumas before now what do you see of about these that you know that I like. I love platform tennis shoes. A lot of the reason why I like these type of tennis shoes is that because they provide a lot of support. And this also has some type of special um, insert in it or insole, and I'll put it on the screen. I forgot what it's called. It's also very soft and it's good. It has a lot of um, really good shock absorption. So if you like to walk or run on the treadmill or things like that, this would be really good. It. these are just super super soft I have like fat wide feet and it seems like as the minutes go by they're getting fatter and wider but these never fail if you're just looking for something that's just gonna be comfortable period you know you, you're gonna order from the store as long as you get your size it's gonna be comfortable and soft you can never fail with the Puma especially the platforms and I know platforms aren't for everybody but I love them they I'm five seven, and I don't know why I feel like I have to be taller than what I already am. <laughs> so I love wearing platforms. But anyway, that pretty much concludes the video. Those are all of my favorites. Let me know down in the comments, have you tried any of these or if you are thinking about it and if you have tried them, if you liked them or if you didn't like it. Let me know down in the comments. I'd love to hear about it. Thank you so much for tuning in and until my next video, smooches.